So there's been a lot of talk recently about Ozempic, the weight loss drug, which was originally for type 2 diabetes, and it has now exploded in popularity. But how safe is it? Some have reported having a more aged and exhausted appearance after using it, specifically in the face, which is being dubbed as Ozempic face. So Dr. Coley joins us to tell us all about it. Thank you, Dr. Coley. There's so many of our viewers that have questions. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm really curious about this Ozempic face, but how does Ozempic work? <laughs> Ozempic works by changing the satiety signal in our brain. So you know what triggers hunger for us after we eat? Our stomach gets stretched and then our brain gets a signal, usually about 20 to 30 minutes later, that we're full. So Ozempic sort of changes that programming a little bit so we get full faster, which means we eat less, which means we lose a lot more weight. And in fact, what my patients have told me that take Ozempic is that if they get that satiety signal and they still eat, they will actually vomit. It will make them throw up because the body will just reject that food. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Wow, all right, so let's talk about side effects because not everything can be gold without some kind of rust. That's not a saying at all. <laughs> but I want to know. I looked at you thing like, thing help me out here. Like, well, fool's gold. Like, well, fool's gold. Erica, Thank you. when she started, we knew it was. It was bad from the start. Was off the it was. It's yes. rust that's gold plated. For sure. Yep, yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, but tell me about the side effects. Yeah. So no drug is without side effects. And you know, this has obviously become very popular. It was designed as a diabetes drug, but now it's also being used as an obesity drug. So very effective for two different diseases. But this is not a drug to use recreationally. You've got a wedding coming out you got a summer vacation, you want to fit into bikini, let me just start this medication. Absolutely not. It is for people who have clinical obesity with conditions associated with obesity because there are side effects. So nausea, what I talked about with the vomiting, can be really severe for yeah. some people. Are you interfere. seeing people abuse this? We are. We are seeing people use this recreationally. We're seeing people go on and off of it, which is also, again, not how it's like designed. A quick fix. Yes. Mm. And, and the problem is when people start using it for weight loss at the diabetes dose, then you're taking it away from the diabetics. I was going to ask, is there a, like a, you know, it's going to be a shortage for people that actually need this for medical reasons? You know, so two types of people need this for medical reasons. That's what I want to be clear about. Diabetics and people with clinical obesity. Not, I've got five extra pounds on me and I want to try to get those off. But they will probably be the bulk of the people using it, would you say? Like realistically? The recreational people? Right, because everybody does have a wedding in summer, in bikini season, it's, it's a thing. But, but there's side effects that are gnarly. Right, and Al, I put that on the doctors. I put that on us. Because mm -hmm. you can't get this without a and prescription. Me, yeah. And you, and you, of course, Dr. Jackson. That, thank you. Because you can't get this without a prescription. So there is some medical provider writing it for you because it's trendy and easy to use. And that's to Tori's point. I mean, there is a theoretical risk of thyroid medullary cancer associated with this. So if you've had a history of cancer, or you have a family member who's had that type of cancer, you can't use it. And for some people, the GI side effects, the diarrhea, the constipation, they can be life changing. So talk to your doctor, be aware. Uh, I want to squeeze in this story that really caught my eye about a billionaire who's trying to look like a teenager again. So mm -hmm. tech tycoon Brian Johnson, he spent $2 million a year on more than 30 doctors trying to regain his teen body. Ew. What is, story, sorry. Yeah. What is this okay? What do you make of this? Uh, so, uh, this Doctor, is Doctor, you're <laughs> clearly shaken by that photo. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. It's a $2 million scam, in my opinion, with a little asterisk, that our behaviors can change the way that we age. We have learned this very effectively. What we do, what we put inside our body, how much we exercise, how much we sleep, can 100% accelerate or decelerate the rate of aging. So I believe the idea of reversing your aging is a little hokey. I, I don't think he looks like he's 18 years Let's old see to me. Dude, Let's see. what is that? Who wants to look like a teenager I again? I heard he's gonna. I heard he's trying to get a hold of Dr. Coley. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Dr. Coley. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Sam, Sam. <laughs> Dr. Coley. Oh, okay, losing my papers over here. Dr. Coley, thank you so much for being here, for answering all of our questions. If you at home have a question for Dr. Coley, please write us. You can also follow Dr. Coley on Twitter at PyleColeyMD, and we could read your question on air.